Hello everyone, welcome back to the video. My name is Monsterson, and in today's video I'll be making a Roblox Skywars tips video. I'm joined by that boy Piotr. Oh, uh, hello everyone. And, okay, so as soon as you spawn, uh, I suggest... Now, I already have two of these tips videos, which if you didn't check out, I will re be repeating some things, like the highlights of those both videos, but uh, if you want more tips or just any guidance i have uh, like a whole guide to pro playlist that will link below in the description below because uh i have like building tutorials other tutorials so much information there for you guys yeah the first thing i suggest you do is buy a speed potion now you might be like why but it's it's a good start and if you are on newbie servers it's always great to buy some blocks now i'm gonna buy diamond blocks but if you have less coins, you can buy less. Since with a wooden pickaxe, it takes eight, sh eight shots, well, eight hit, eight clicks to destroy the diamond block, and only four clicks to destroy the normal block. So it's you can say it's twice as durable. However, with like ruby pickaxes, diamond pickaxes, it's the same. So there is really no point in buying. Them. Now my suggestion is if you didn't buy any packs. Then I suggest you buy like a iron or a diamond pickaxe, as it will yeah. save you so much time. And like you just grind coins faster. Like, look at mine and Monstrous's coins. Like yeah. So if you do want coins, I do have a video on how to get coins. And let me just give you a tip here. Uh, if you don't want to buy any packs, or you can't, or something like that, um, and you're you're just legit player, you don't have a pack or something like that. Then just, uh, and for example, if you're gonna be playing for like less than 15 minutes, I suggest you get like a iron pickaxe. And if you're gonna be playing for more than 15 minutes, I suggest getting the diamond pickaxe, which you can grind a lot and uh, you can get a, a lot of coins. Again, I have a video on that. It's in the playlist, link in the description. So I wanna show you some maneuvers that I use. Um, my main tips are in the other videos, but these are the maneuvers. So for example, when you're about to get shot, dig up. Mine up, I mean. Or, no, build up. So for example, what I like to do is I like to build up, then I like to shoot, then I like to do this, I like to shoot, then I like to build up again. Again, only when you have ammo though, because there's no point in... Do this, shoot, Build up. I don't know why everyone's trying to attack me. But you build up. Now as you can see they're camping. We're just going to do this. Shoot. Build up. So basically building up doesn't allow them to shoot. And they're vulnerable. And boom. Done. Easy. Now when you are going down. I highly suggest shift lock. It does really help. And um, yeah. That's pretty much it. Yeah. Alright, the next tip, can I show it? Uh, so, just, just for example, try to uh, come to me. Just try to come to me. So, I dig up, quickly go like this, and then boom. And then basically, all you do is try to go up as possible. Let me play this in slow-mo. So you do that as fa as slow as possible. And then when you're ready, just kind of like mine. So, so if you just stand here for a second. Where, like this? Yeah. So for example, let's just go forward a bit. Yeah. So for example, that boy Piotr is here. Bam. He he would have yeah. killed that boom, boom. Boom. straight on him because he deserves yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but the next step, uh, can I can I demonstrate yeah. it? So now before we get to the next bit, I want to show you guys some fan art that came from my Discord server. This one was made by one of my friends, Nectar. Really, really nice art. I really like it a lot. Next one was is made by H Z Ayad. Sorry if I screwed up your name. This guy's actually one of my cool friends, and he has a nice drawing of me, and I really like it a lot. By the way, guys, if you want a shout out like uh, like these people, go to my Discord, then you can draw something. Um, you don't have to be good at art. I know some people are better than others, but you don't have to be good. Um, 
you know. Uh, so if you want a shout out like this, um, you can do that. Also, if you do fan art, you get this cool fan artist's role, which is higher than the subscriber's role. So you can, you know, brag about having a higher role than the subscriber's role. I don't know if you want to do that, but you can. Uh, you can join the Discord ser server in the description below. You can chat to me as well. Okay, so this glitch, we covered it in the, gl the glitches video. I really you should definitely so check out. <laughs> yeah, it's in the description. Okay, so you put like one hole here. Now, yeah, you get in it. Now someone is attacking you. Now they cannot hit you, but you can deal damage to them. But, so, but tip, wait, yeah. can you get out of it and get back in it? You see how hard it is to get back in? So what mm -hmm. I like to do is I like to put a block like this. Now, can you get out of it? Mm -hmm. Right. Now this, so you know how it was hard for you to get into the block? And yeah, yeah I agree. So when people ask me, can, do you want a 1v1? I usually just put a block down and then I just make a little hole. And then you, it's so easy just to get into a hole. You see that? Yeah, oh yeah, I see that. Yeah, so you don't even have to like squeeze in and probably lose, you can just easily go in. By the way, this brings us to the next tip, but we ran out of time, so good job Skywars for giving me yeah. more time for this video. <laughs> <laughs> so the next thing I suggest is getting as low ping as possible. Now. To get as low ping as possible, there are multiple things you can do, but the first thing I suggest you do is to decrease your graphics quality to the lowest if you have high ping. If you don't, like I have 30 ping, so it's fine. Now, uh, I'll, if I did some things just to boost my ping and FPS a little bit. Uh, if you want an, a video on that, so how to get like as much FPS and as low ping as possible for cheap, Make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss that video out. And let's get this video to 75 likes and then I'll make it. So let's say someone is bowing you. So as soon as they reload, so they don't have their bow equipped so we're fine. So we can just, oh no, we can't mine underneath him. My second, uh, my other, another tip is to go into third person, but, and when you're using your sword into um, shift lock. It's it gives you a lot more control and speaking of control if you want even more control always get the high ground because you are the deciding point of where you want to go um, and not the person that's on the low ground. So for example if you want to make the next move by going down and like doing a lot of damage or mining underneath the person you can. So yeah. Oh almost fell there. No, you can you can um, build in third person. I like building in first person. Same. Yeah. It's uh, it's like more accurate, I guess. Yeah. Also for a uh, low ping, also that you switch your kind of your server to the country where you. Okay. Is. Yeah. So yeah. my biggest advice for you to get the lowest ping. Again, I can make a second video. Uh, I will detail um, everything in. I will uh, list everything in a lot of detail. I can go talking about ping for another like 10 minutes. So I think I'll make a, a separate video on that. So make sure you you like this video and subscribe. Let's get this video to 75 likes. So basically my first t tip uh, for getting as low ping as possible is here in, the con in, in your settings. You can change the country. So there, change the country to the country that you live in. Um, now you might be like, oh, but that's bad, but this actually ensures that you have the lowest ping possible because, because Roblox is connected to these big computers called servers and let's say one is in China and one is in America and you live in Europe and you connect to a Chinese server, I mean, you're gonna have really high ping because it's really far away. But let's say you're in Europe and you connect to a German server. You get less ping than connecting to American or Chinese servers. Hopefully that makes sense to you guys. Yeah. The next tip is, um, wait, can you just like go over here so I don't damage you accidentally? Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. So my next tip again, using this, let's say there are two people. One is here. One is here. Now what I like to do is I like to 
to go around by pressing WASD. This is much easier on mobile, by the way, if you're on mobile. Uh, make sure uh, so you just spin the joystick around but on PC you have to press W A S D as fast as possible and not at the same time so you get this effect and then you just spam click and one swing can do a 360 shot like damage and for example can you try sniping me my next tip is that if if someone's trying sn yeah, yeah, yeah just snipe me wait wait um, I was not ready okay so is to do this and then you, you do that snipe and then you snipe them, and you block yourself, and you snipe them, and you block yourself. So people can't really attack you. Yes, I'm using auto clicker, but that's for demonstrational purposes. Um, yeah, because you have to like reload the bot. It takes yeah. such a long time. Yeah. But if you need work on like building, uh, combat, or something like that, I have videos where I go in depth of how to do it. Like, I'll leave the playlist in the description. So, for example, if you want to learn how to mine under people, that's in the, uh, in the description. Um, that's it. By the way, if you do have any video ideas on, like, Guide to Pro, because you guys really want to see Guide to Pro videos. So, if you have any video ideas on, like, how, like, for example, if you're a pro and you want to help out news, noobs and you have some tips, put, it, put, it, put the tips into the comments. And uh, let's say you're a noob and you don't have any, uh, you, you need to work on something. You're like, I need help on doing like that that island glitch or something like that. I don't know. Um, comment that down below and I can make a separate video on it. And because I want everyone to be like really good at the game. So yeah. So yeah. If, um, now my next tip is to not buy arrows. I'm pretty sure Dapoi Piotr has never ever bought arrows. Maybe once, but it was for the video. Bow. Yeah, for the bow only challenge video. Uh, what? So, oh, so when you start out in the game, in here, type this code. It's called Sword. Um, now, uh, not not without the W, just Sword. Now, I already have a good sword, as you can see. I have the Obsidian Sword, so I don't really need to get a good sword. But if you're starting out, you have zero wins no coins or maybe like 20 wins and maybe a thousand coins let's say that and you can't really you don't really want to buy any sword then use code sword as i mentioned in one of my tips videos try to find newbie servers newbie servers are the best to grind like this one as you can see here this one isn't super particularly newbie like i've definitely seen even worse ones but this one is pretty newbie, so for for me and Dapoi Piotr, this is pretty good, a pretty good server. And yes. So my next tip is um, getting the high ground. Always get the high ground. I'm pretty sure I mentioned it, but this allows you to have more control because this person here, they don't know what what move I'm gonna do next. Maybe I'm gonna bow them. Maybe I'm gonna come come to them and just try to hit them as much as possible but getting the high ground is important because they can't get to this really easily and we can't and we can't really um yeah that's exactly why um high ground is o op because you know where you're gonna go and where your blocks are and other people don't so my next tip is to mute the music because Unless you really like the music, you can mute it by clicking it here or do slash mute in the chat and it will mute it for you. Of course, I already have it unmuted. Uh, muted. If you type mute again, it will unmute the music as you saw there. But I have it muted already, so I don't have to disable it. Also, one thing for Lopin is to disable the winter mode because all the snow particles... It like yeah, makes it's more for the FPS. It's it's not the FPS. Yeah. It's more it's more of the FPS and not the ping. Uh, so yeah, guys. Again, if you want a detailed like review of how to get FPS and ping, like one of my friends, Yusufovo. By the way, hi if you're watching this. Um, he he followed some steps that I will mention in the video. Uh, then the, the how to get more FPS and ping. And I'm pretty sure he first had like 35 FPS, and then when he did it, he did like some tricks that I will show in the video. He got like 60, I believe. I'm not sure. Correct me if I'm wrong, Yusuf. He's one of my friends, if you didn't know, guys. So, as you can see there, um, yeah, you just 
when you're always using the sword, always go into shift lock mode because you know where you're going. Just be careful because the camera is a bit different and especially when people try to build they fall off. For example, in building you have to actually press D once in a while because it doesn't work that easily and it's really hard. And as you can see, someone is in the island. So this is my next tip. Now as you can see, I'm being really slowly. He knows where I am. Next time I would go really fast because otherwise he would not know where I was. So we, we would just go like this and that's it. That's how fast I would go at and I would go really fast but for demonstration purposes I was really slow now what you do is you try to mine as much as possible locate them make sure you're on a distance and if they're not holding a pickaxe in their hand don't worry that much again don't fall this is really hard to achieve but just try your best be cautious look around and that's it my next tip is to play on the biggest monitor you can. Now, you can play on a TV, because TVs have HDMI ports and your laptop like or PC definitely has an HDMI port if it's from the last 10 years. Um, if it doesn't, I'm pretty sure there are loads of other connect connections like VGA and things like that you can plug into your, uh, let's say, TV. Now, I'm not saying you should take your TV from your li living room, and that's definitely not what I did, but try to take the biggest monitor you can, like the one that's probably collecting dust in your, in your grandpa's apartment, or... I don't know. I don't can, know. You have, can you have connect like a monitor? Yeah, you can connect like a monitor, like... I tried playing um, Roblox Sky Wars on my laptop, which is 15.6 inches, uh, which it basically isn't a big monitor, it's a usual laptop monitor, and for me it was hard because I couldn't really see everything, but when I switched back to my monitor, which is almost twice the size, um, it was easier for me, so, you know. By the way, I do have a video where uh, a laptop player plays on my PC, and it's so funny. Because when he came to my- uh, that boy Piotr, when he came to my house, he was like, Oh my god, <laughs> how do you play on this? Yeah. By the way, guys, if you do want a video where we swap setups, um, make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss that out. Of course, we have to wait until the pandemic is over, but... Yeah, but yeah, make sure you're subscribed. Now, next round, I will show you two tips. Now, this tip is really nice if you uh, have been playing uh, Roblox, if, if you want an advantage over other players. So basically, you know in the countdown when, where it starts, it goes like three, two, one, and you, have, you can't move, but if you drink a potion, you can move in that countdown. So let me show you. So... Um, let me show you. So, as um, when we spawn, drink the potion immediately, and bam, you see we can move, while well, others can't. You see, everyone is frozen. And uh, this can be an advantage if you're trying to get the middle at, at the start. Like, you, you're gonna drink the, um, the speed potion anyway, so why not drink it at the most start in the game? So, um, yep, again, uh, you can uh, you can try playing in only first-person mode. I wouldn't advise, though, because um, it's kind of hard, and I wouldn't really do that. And, um, I think that's it. So, yeah, uh, as that boy Piotr was saying, you can make these... So, let's say your HP is really low. You have two hearts left, or even one. So this is what I like to do. I like to go over here. Let's say we're going to go to an island. So can you just go to that island? This one that I just, the, with the diamond blocks. No, 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 diamond blocks. No, yes, this one. The diamond block one. Okay. Right. Oh. oh come on. Yes. All right, my next tip is uh, a tip if you uh, if you have if you want if you have Robux and you want to buy packs now uh, please don't buy stone gold or iron packs because those are just 
garbage. The diamond one, I mean, sure, it's not, it's, 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 it has some value to it, uh, but the best value is the ruby pack. I think if you're starting out, the ruby pack is good because you're not wasting too much money, but if Sky Wars is your primary game and you know that you're going to be playing it for a long time, the obsidian pack is the way to go. I mean, it is not too expensive, but it is expensive. Um... And it's really nice as well, so yeah. And by the way, nice WASD you're doing there. Oh yeah, I need to shift If you go into the oh, oh yeah. So, shift lock is really nice, especially if you're only using, like, I highly suggest you use shift lock when you're using your, um, sword, because you do have a lot of that control. So, oh, monstrous. so what about these? Oh, yeah. Like the battle packs and everything. So, uh, oh yeah, by the way, these people ask me, which one's better? All of these ones are the same. Like, honestly, it's just a skin. Like, you know how you can get, like, uh, skins in Fortnite and CSGO? They're just, just for colors and to look good. So, um, armors, this is, by the way, these are the same as obsidian stuff. I would not buy obsidian packs. They're too expensive. I mean, I would not buy obsidian armors because you're most likely not going to be playing with obsidian stuff. And by the way, another tip is that if you can't reach the, this area, the group area, to get the cheap heal, uh, heal potion, I'm sorry, but you have to buy the one for 600. That's the only way to go in this game, unfortunately. So I'm going to get the high ground immediately. and. Alright, this is cold. Alright, right, 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 right. And I'm gonna take this and then I'm gonna patch myself up. Where is he? Oh, he's right there. I'm gonna get the high ground as well. Again. Okay. Oh my god, you're annoying. Get out. Okay, we need to look. He's over there, as you can see. Now, that's actually a good thing he did there. So, as you can see, he did this bridge thing. But he put three blocks underneath himself. So, he didn't... Um, he's, he's gonna... Oh. <laughs> so, he put three blocks underneath himself, so you can't really mine underneath him. That's a pretty smart move. Now, uh, what I'm gonna do here is actually, I'm gonna put blocks... While he's waiting for me, I'm gonna think smart... And I'm gonna put one layer down in case he comes over to me. So basically, we can just move left like that, and we're sorted. Now, uh, hopefully, okay. All right, he's coming to me. He has the high ground. It's first step. First step is done. There you go. Okay, now he actually did a really smart move. He tried to mine underneath me. Now that's a thing that you need to be careful of because as you can see, I did a really good maneuver of patching the blocks up and trying to jump up. By the way, the way how you do that is hold space or the jump button and just click as fast as you can underneath yourself. And then you should be fine. So yeah. Anyway guys, if these tips helped you out, Make sure you like and subscribe, it really helps. If you have any video ideas, make sure to put them down in the comments. And on that note guys, have a great day and a great night.